what's up you guys welcome back again to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Jen and please don't forget to like this video subscribe comment and share so today guys we're gonna be doing another one of Jazz's videos so in this video you're gonna see them doing a car wash to raise funds for Lynn's um, hormones that she's gonna use to transition from being a boy to a girl so let's get straight into this video okay I got the donation box Today is the day of the car wash, and I'm just glad to have a whole team ready to support Lynn and raise money to help Lynn with her transition. How much are we trying to raise, like money-wise? $1,000, boo. 1,000, that's a lot. Is the hose even on? <gasps> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Noel. I think Lynn is really lucky that she has a lot of friends who are like-minded and willing to help her. I think that support can go a long way in her transition and it can really help her reach her goal of happiness. We got this. I have Woo! We got this. this. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Yay. Woo! We have a customer? We do. Yeah. All right. You're the face. Hello. It costs ten dollars, but we also accept donations. And you could stay in the car if you want. Uh there's ten. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Guys, we got $20 donation. Woo! Woo! All right, we're going to make your car extra clean now. <laughs> oh, my God, it's my mom. Your no mom's way. here? Yeah. Hey. It costs $10. Oh, thank you. This is $50. Yes, $50 oh my, dollar donation. Woo! My mom gave $50. Thank you so much. Woo! It just means so much to me to see everyone come together to see Lynn happy and allow her to be the person that she always has been. Oh my god, we have another customer. Everybody, this is my dad. Hello. Hey. And how are you? Good. He wants us to wash his car. Awesome. Thank you. It's so great that we are getting donations and raising money quicker for this good cause. I really feel like we could reach the goal of $1,000. So we see in this scene that everybody's being supportive of Lynn and they're just really excited to get the car wash started. And something made me chuckle a little bit as far as like them saying that $1,000 is a lot. I know as a kid, I used to think that $1,000 was a lot and it would go so far. And once you get older, you start having bills, you realize that like a thousand dollars literally will disappear out of your pocket and evaporate in a matter of seconds, maybe minutes. I don't know. Not saying like we spend a whole lot, but just saying like bills, 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 bills. <laughs> A thousand dollars doesn't really go too far in this economy right now as far as like inflation, gas prices and all of that. But let me stop getting off track. Um, so the car wash is going good so far. Let's get straight back into the video. So this is for you. Make your dreams come true. <laughs> Thank you be so much. Be the best person you can be. Seriously. <laughs> this is for you. All right, Thank in you. here. I wish you the best. It means awesome. so much. Thank you. And we're going to get, here's my, my water. So we're just still starting, right? It's still like, I still really can't process it because it's like so many people are coming together just to help me. Usually a lot of people don't help me in my life. I usually have gone through this by myself. I'm um, not having support from my family. To think so many people would help me is like, it blows my mind. Guys, we've reached 250. What? Woo! Woo! there. So this scene did touch me a little bit in terms of like Lynn not really getting the support that she wants from her, I guess, family, maybe parents. I know that she basically has to work for everything. So I really did want to see in the show why the parents weren't supporting Lynn. Of course, a lot of parents don't support um they're gay children. They also definitely don't support transgenders, but I would have liked to see their aspect of it as far as like their child being on TV. Were they okay with this? I'm assuming Lynn was an adult at this time, so I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. But I did notice that she was really definitely emotional, and it's just really hard to see somebody that may be confused and going through things mentally and they might not know exactly what their next steps would be 
and they don't have the support of their family so you guys tell me what you think as far as like Lynn is concerned and what you may think her family's thinking as far as like what is going on Jazz I think we have another customer hello hello hi I saw you doing a car wash yeah yes well, what are the donations for um, it's for my friend Lynn here. She's transgender and we're trying to raise money for her hormones, so it's for a good cause. Would you call that a good cause? I mean, you're born who you are. Yeah, and she was born as a trans girl. Yeah, she's no, born she as was... Lynn. This is who she is. Funny you can't change who you are. I mean, you're born a boy or you're born a girl. Hearing this just makes me super upset. Like, if you don't support us, fine, but you don't have to say it. You could just leave and go and not get your car washed. That's okay, but the fact that he's just spreading his negativity, like, get out of here, this is not wanted. We are just living our lives as who we are. We love ourselves, we embrace who we are, and we you wish don't love that who you, you could are. embrace us You were us born too. a certain way. You don't love who, how you were born, apparently. Don't tell me if I don't love myself, because I know who I love, not you. You don't, because I don't, you changed. I, don't, I, think, I think you should go. I don't think you're uh, think welcome here too. at this car wash. I wouldn't give my money anyway. A community embracing love, and you're not here to give love. We love ourselves! I'm so used to hate and judgment at this point, it doesn't even phase me, but it does hurt me to see when other people are affected by hate. That is something that does get to me. We're raising money, we're doing good, and that person is not here to dampen our day. So this whole discussion does raise the question of can you really love yourself if you decide that you want to transition to be the opposite gender? And for me, I can't say yes or no because at the end of the day, I'm nobody's maker. At the end of the day, we all have to answer to whoever made us and to a lot of people that's god based on what you believe in and i believe that as far as like transgenders are concerned at the end of the day when it boils down to it whether you transition to be a boy or transition to be a girl when it's all said and done if they should dig up your grave 50 years from now 100 years from now or however long from now it's going to still turn up as you being a boy or a girl regardless of whether you transitioned or didn't transition your dna is your dna your genetic makeup is your genetic makeup that's simply science and as far as the guy basically telling them like you can't love yourself how can you love yourself if you cannot accept the body that you came in and in jazz's instance you came in the form of a man in lynn's instance you came in the form of a man in uh noelle's instance you came in the form of a man and so you decided to change yourself to be a female but at the end of the day when it's all said and done no matter how you try to slice it or dice it you will forever be a man and that's what he's pretty much saying and then jazz with the sass is like you can't tell me what i am or who i love and then the girls like we love ourselves but it's kind of like it's kind of contradictory because you can't really love yourself if you don't accept the body that you came in and as far as jazz saying lynn was born as a trans girl to me that's all in the mind that's all in the mind and you can't tell me any different okay and i just feel like it is what it is this is gonna be an argument that we're probably gonna have a hundred years from now i don't know what the answer is jazz doesn't know what the answer is you guys in the comments section let me know can you truly love yourself if you decide that you want to live in the opposite sex body oh. <laughs> We are gonna have a great time once again. And I feel like Lynn just knows that the positivity and love is stronger than this one guy who is saying hateful things. All right, so we totaled out. It was a total of 780 bucks. We didn't make a thousand, but we did a great job. I'm really proud of ourselves. I really wanna thank you guys for like doing this for me. It means a lot, like yes. making this goal. And it's just like, with this money, I could finally be able to like do things I really need to do. Yes! Go group, group hug. Hug. Group hug.
again. <laughs> so they didn't quite make the 1000 that they needed. They made 780 to raise for Lynn's hormones. And I didn't realize hormones were that cheap. I thought they were more expensive than that, but I guess maybe this is just like the rest of the money that Lynn needs to be able to do it. Um, so you guys tell me what you think about this video. And to be honest with you, a part of me feels like this whole scene with the man in the car and him berating them might have been a paid actor, allegedly. But you know with TLC, sometimes these things seem a little fishy. I noticed that with a few of their shows that some of those people that come on there acting like trolls, the phone calls that are threats to the family just seem fake and forced and coerced but that's neither here or there this is all alleged this is just my conspiracy theory I don't know what I'm talking about okay so you guys let me know what you think about this video like this video subscribe comment and share and until next time guys it's been fun peace